Hello, this is um, a short video on uh, the Polaroid SX70 series of cameras. Uh, specifically, this is the, the Sonar version. Uh, not so much about the camera itself, more about um, accessories that you can get for it. Some of them are quite old, obviously. It's, this is a, I think this is an, a camera that was made in 1982. So uh, most of the accessories are you know, over 30, 35 years old. So um, most of them are bought off of eBay. Um, you can buy reproductions uh, made by uh, Polaroid Originals. They used to be known as the Impossible Project. Um, there's also a company in Hong Kong called Mint that make accessories but anyway let's uh, get into this thing and uh, have a see what we can get for it uh, this strap is a copy of an original um, it's nice it's not really adjustable um, I suppose if you were to take that clip off there but it's, it's kind of the the right kind of length for me so I've, I've left it as it is now we just open the camera up that's the, uh, the thing in question with the sonar module over the top there. Uh, there's the slight adjustment available on these things. You can, this is autofocus obviously because it says it there. <laughs> but you can manually focus it by flicking that little switch there. There's a little red tab on the top to remind you. And you just turn the little wheel there. It is quite accurate autofocus on this. It's um, Usually, if you if you're trying to shoot through glass, this because it bounces um, sonar off off the object that you're focused on, it won't shoot through glass. So you have to manually shoot through glass. Uh, there's a an adjustment there, which you have to use with um, Polaroid Originals or Impossible Project Film if you've got any of that because it's slightly faster than this camera's designed for and then you just flick that little switch on the side there and the, the film goes in there this has got um, a, they call it a frog tongue I'll just show you that when the, the film ejects from the bottom of the camera this unrolls to protect the uh, the film from the sun which is still slightly sensitive when it comes out I think it's for about the first five minutes or so so you don't want that exposed to the sun you have to cover the film right so let's go through some of the uh, accessories that you can get for this this is the the flash bar you can still get original uh, flash bars with 10 shots on how reliable they are I don't know I've never actually used one so this is um, the flash bars made by Mint, but sold through the what was the Impossible Project. It's now Polaroid Originals, as I said. Uh, two double uh, triple A batteries. Sorry, it isn't very powerful, but um, it does the job. And you can, uh, even though I've not tried it yet, you can use this camera and flash combination in synchro sun. But there's uh, a little button on the back or a slider, should I say? With three uh, three positions there's off half power full power and then there's a charge light and a fully charged light and a flash open flash button which I'll just push now so that is quite uh, what power this this takes quite a while to charge up because um, it's just using little AAA batteries but the the two positions um, one is if you're using SX70 film and the other one in the middle there is if you're using 600 film yeah the power's just come back and I'll turn that off now there's a couple of other little add-ons that you get for this these are two little filters there's a green one which I believe is called chartreuse for some odd reason which is magnetic it just sticks on and then there's uh, this one's called hot pink <laughs> Who thought that one up? I don't know. But it's called hot pink. Uh, use those for um, 
you know, experiment with those with different, you know, puts different colours into the, the film. I've never used them, but you do get those with the, the flash bar. So that, that's quite a light little item. I'll just attach that to the top. It does add a fair bit. So get the strap out of the way. It just uh, tis off and it just pops on the top there where you would normally put the flash bars. I think it's slightly bigger than um, or taller, should I say, than the SLR 680690, which had the flash built in on the top there. But it does work quite well. I've also not used it very often, but uh, it does work perfectly okay. Now, another accessory built by Mint, sold through the Impossible Project, is this little gizmo. Um, what you do is put that on the front of the camera and then you have a series of filters there's uh, yellow a blue an ND filter which I think is times two which is uh, well, might be times four I can't remember now oh it's times four so it's two stops uh, that one is a close-up filter and then this big one is a fish eye effect now I'll just pop that one on so you actually see it um, what you should do as well with these um, because of the sonar unit on the top that kind of gets in the way of attaching these it works perfectly okay on an S, a normal SX70 camera but that, that just sort of clips on there and then it goes on the front of the camera so it does add quite a, a bit looks sort of I don't know, steampunky to me but it works fine it's from the side that's from the front and so there's uh, there's four filters and that fish eye that that is quite a an interesting lens to use actually um if you like distortions it's it does uh does distort quite a bit and also um, something I got off the internet I think I got this off Etsy was it Etsy? I don't know <laughs> this is an original Polaroid attachment it's a, a 1.5 tele photo unit uh, lens should I say it's quite heavy it is glass as well this came with all the original um, manual box there was a little um, pouch that it came in but I don't use that pouch because over the time it, it's deteriorated and it, it gives like a greasy uh, film on whatever you're putting you can actually put your hand in and you get like a greasy effect but this goes on the front as per normal I think there's two versions of this as well one is specific to this SX70 which I believe this one is and there's another one which you can use on normal SX70 cameras that's it it's same again it's quite big so even bigger actually but it it doesn't distort a lot but it's uh, it does have add quite a bit of white to the front of the camera something to bear in mind now another thing that you should really get as this camera has a tripod socket you should get a cable release now this is the, an original Polaroid cable release it's just a, a wire with a plunger and a little two prong plug on it and that just goes into the side there the thing is with these lenses and the mint lens which I showed you previously you can still use this that just plugs in the side and then you just uh, it auto focuses and sh takes a shot instantly so that that's uh, that's very useful if you're using a, a tripod um, another thing I've got which is also an original Polaroid um, item is this self time it's a clockwork self timer now you can't use this with the mint or the Polaroid lens so if I just take that off And then that goes on. Let's see if I can really use it for a while. It goes on like so. Excuse me. Just 
excuse my fingers flying around. Uh, we got that right. Yeah, got that right. That just fits kind of like that. Uh, this is actually missing. There's a little red index mark there. That's actually missing. So hey ho. But that that's uh, a self timer. If you want to take a selfie, uh, just put it on the tripod, wind it up. I won't wind it all the way. And then push the little button on the side. As you can hear, it's clockwork. And then it just takes a shot, just pulls straight off the side. Um, I've also got, this is apparently what was an original Polaroid item, which is a, a reproduction. And it's a little timer, which uh, I do use quite a bit actually. I mean, you can use it to cook eggs if you want to. <laughs> or you can use it to time the... Uh, the shots you know, to to let you know how long that you you need to leave the the, the developing photos in the dark I mean the the latest version of um, the the SX70 film the color color ones take between 10 and 15 minutes and the black and white ones five to ten minutes so these are the this is the latest version of the film that's the the color obviously it says color on the front and then there's the black and white that's the latest version the, the thing is with um what was the polaroid uh, the polaroid project <laughs> the impossible project and uh what is now called polaroid originals they, they do update that film quite regularly i think there's been about four five versions each one gets quicker and quicker the film speed is is always the same you have to adjust the camera slightly to to compensate for that but um, as long as you remember to do that you, know, you, you do get some quite nice results from these cameras the the adjustment I should say as well is when when you adjust it and you close the camera that resets itself so you do have to remember always to reset that it's uh, it's about a stop well mm, three out of four marks slightly down but uh, so the, you, you can accessorize this camera quite a lot giving you from close-up wide angles telephotos uh, the autofocus is very good you can also manually focus it and uh, just remember to make sure that that frog tongue's positioned because it does tend to, if, if you're putting pressure on that or if it's in a camera bag it can move around and to close it up you just pull that across whoops, close it down and that's the SX70 with uh, a few very useful accessories I mean I have actually used that camera on a holiday exclusively you know, with it without a digital camera or a film backup camera, just that on its own, and you know, it's nice to actually uh, have the photographs. You can hand them around, and they they do look because uh, they they're square format. They they are rather nice. I, it's just uh, an iconic camera. Uh, there's several different versions of it. The ultimate one is the the six ninety which is still very expensive these ones are rebuilt by um, Polaroid Originals previously the Impossible Project and I think that one was 370 something pound so the 690's you know, very very expensive but they are supposedly the ultimate one because it's essentially a folding camera and you can use 600 film in it. You can actually use 600 film in that as well, but you have to um, use an ND filter. Which I oh no, oh no that's a frog tongue. There we go. I've got a spare frog tongue, but these are the um, the filters. There's two. You get two in a pack, 
obviously Mobile Impossible project. There's two ND filters in there which you just clip using these little lugs on the sides and the front and the back into into the top of the uh, the film pack before you actually put it into the camera. You can then use 600 type film in it and uh, why you would do that I don't know <laughs> unless you want the uh, there are much more varieties of, of coloured frames which, which do look quite nice I have used it it's um, you know, if you want coloured frames or funky frames you, know, you go for that the the SX70 film just comes with a plain plain white one but uh, there you go that's the SX70 sonar with some of the accessories that you can get for it, both original and um, items that are made by uh, Mint in uh, Hong Kong. Okay, that, I hope that's been helpful. Uh, have a good day. Bye.